Fishing is one of those many things in Valheim you can literally lose yourself in. The more you advance with the fishing, the more difficult it will become to catch higher tier fish. You're gonna need more advanced fishing bait and they will also start draining more stamina when you try to reel them in. There are only two ways to make fishing easier. The first one will be to get your hands on the best food in the game, to maximize your stamina bar, which is going to be pretty difficult if you're still in the early or mid game. While the second one, a lot more accessible, would be to just up your fishing skill. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build this fishing range, let's say, which allows you to level up your fishing as quick as possible and also give you some tips on how to maximize your fishing efficiency. So let's Let's get right to it. So what you want to do first is find a nice place where you want to build a farm. Preferably this would be a meadows biome as they are usually pretty peaceful. What you also need is a nice water surface with some shallow waters as this is going to make it a lot easier to build your farm as the more shallow your water is the less ground you're going to have to raise. So I definitely recommend you to find something that looks a little bit like this. If you're playing on my god seed by the way which you can find in the top right of the screen these are the coordinates which will bring you to it basically very close to the spawn. Now, the next thing you want to do is basically determine where exactly you want to stand when fishing. And before you do so, you're going to dig a little hole right next to it with your pickaxe, as this allows you to see how you can shape the terrain. So right now you can see that if we remove ground or raise ground, that will basically be the straight line we need, or we could also make it towards that direction. So I'm going to settle with this direction and place my farm exactly right here. So we have plenty of area to work with, probably at least 30 to 40 meters, which is going to be enough to cast our rod. The next thing you want to do is take out your hammer and build a little fishing pier or dock, let's say. I went with this as it's very easy to replicate, very easy to copy if you want to do so. But of course, if you want to go all out on this one, you're free to do so as it's not going to affect the efficiency of the farm in any way. Anyways, once you've built yourself a nice fishing dock, let's say the next thing you want to do is get out your hose, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to raise some ground. So what we're going to do is make walls on both sides. They don't have to be super high up in the sky, let's say, but uh, you just want to raise ground a little bit. You just need a nice base, which we're going to use later to, let's say, place walls in the inner rectangle shape, which will define our fish pond or let's say the fishing skill farming area. A nice way to determine how deep you want to make this pond area is to just take out your rod and cast the line. Just throw as far away as possible, but this would usually be 25 meters at the same height. So that would be the end, let's say, of the farm area. So you want to make it as deep as this as well. So after a little bit of terraforming and making the walls look a little bit nice, you would have something that looks a little bit like this doesn't have to be exactly the same but most importantly you want to have these flat walls let's say especially towards the inner circle as that's going to be the place where we're going to have to slab in some walls to block out the fish let's say. I also definitely recommend you to flatten the ground in the pond itself to make it shallow and even everywhere so it's going to be easier for the fish to swim from A to B. This would also be a good moment to think about your staircase in front of the pier as if you happen to fall in, let's say, it's going to be easier to get out of it again. Anyways, what we're going to do right now is take out our hammer and place wooden walls on the sides. You want to make sure that they stick a little bit out of the water as the second wall above it has to be a little bit higher than the walls we just dug with our hoe. So if we fast forward that, you should have something that looks like this. So if we check that out from top view, you can see that right now the fish inside are no longer aggressive or trying to jump out, let's say. They're just being nice fish in your pond without too much trouble. And that is exactly what you want to have. If you have a workbench nearby as well, they should actually stay in your pond as they are items. If they're on dry land, you can basically pick them up. Well, same counts for the fish or well, that is what I experienced so far. Anyways, what we're going to do next is finish our build. What I like to do is make a nice roof right here so we can basically make a little um, zone where we can actually rest and constantly regain our rested bonus. So we will always have increased stamina regeneration while of course you can decorate this place a little bit with some uh, chairs and tables, add a campfire to add even more rested bonus. 
and I also decided to make the fishing pond itself look a little bit better. The design of everything around the pond really doesn't matter. Only the length, the width and the depth of it does. So there you have it. We've got ourselves a nice cozy little fishing area which we could use to raise our fishing skill. We just cast a rod with a roof over our head. Every time when the fish bite we can reel them in. But of course we're gonna need some fish in the pond before we can start farming. And I'm also gonna talk about the consumables which are gonna make this a lot easier. But let's talk about the fish first. So you won't be able to do this with any kind of fish. That's very important to know as some of them can only swim in deeper waters. Well, thank God we are currently in the meadows as right here we can find these little perches. And these are actually the ones which we're gonna need for the farm. They are very easy to catch, have like the least stamina drain of all the fish out there. And now comes the interesting part. So it doesn't really matter how big the fish is. It doesn't matter what type of fish it is. Like if it's from a next biome, from the mistlands or maybe even the ashlands, any type of fish will give you the exact same amount of reward or skill, let's say, if you're reeling it in. Catching the fish itself will not even give you experience. Only the reeling in does, so you don't have to actually catch them. You can just reel in, release, re-reel, and that is what we're gonna do with this farm. And we're gonna do that with basic perch, level one, as they are the easiest to catch, have the least stamina drain in the entire game. So what you're gonna do is get your hands on a couple of these bad boys. I would say about 10 or 15, so um, I'm just gonna spawn in fish one you can always just test it out yourself with commands fish one we're gonna type in the amount and then we're gonna type in the quality so right now we're gonna spawn in 10 purchase of level one so even for people who only just started their adventure in valheim it's gonna be very friendly to build as you're not gonna need many resources and the fish themselves are also super easy to get your hands on it is also very important to have enough workbenches around your pond to prevent the fish from despawning. As right now, we basically have this circle around the workbench which we have right here. But this one only protects the farm up to this point. So everything behind it isn't protected from despawning. We've got another one right there, but this circle doesn't reach the place. So we basically want to slap down a workbench exactly right here. So right now with this circle, you can see that everything is protected. So you don't have to worry about the fish despawning. All right, so now we're basically ready to reap the rewards. Start farming experience for our fishing skill. So as you can see, we're currently resting. Comfort seven, so we're gonna have the rested bonus 24 seven. Before we start catching fish though, I definitely recommend you guys to get your hands on the best stamina food in the game. If you are in the end game, that would be the fish and bread as well as the salad and also le mushroom omelette as they gave you a whopping 305 stamina when combined. Look at this right here. Let me just quickly reset my skill right here so uh, I can show you exactly what happens. So right now if I take out my rod and cast the line you can tell that I have almost 300 stamina. The fish instantly bites and now we're just gonna right click and um, the fish is hooked. You can tell that we will slowly um, lose stamina when it's on the line. If you reel it in, you will actually level your skill, while right now we don't level anything. Look at that, it's still on zero, nothing happens. While if we start reeling in, shorten the distance, let's say, to us, we will improve our fishing skill. So right now we're at 13 meters, and uh, you can tell that we're exactly right here with our experience, while if we just reel it in a little bit more, it will actually be uh, further. So there you have it. That is exactly how you want to improve your fishing skill in Valheim. And that is basically it. So right now, all you need to do is not even catch the fish. Just press and hold the left mouse button once again to recast the line. Drop it in the distance, right click and hold to uh, hook the next fish. And you're just gonna press and hold till it's almost there. And you're gonna rinse and repeat this process to improve your fishing skill. So with barely any effort, we already reached level three and um, we can just keep doing this over and over again. But that is basically it. And you just keep doing this until you think you have enough experience or are totally done with it, let's say, as it can become pretty boring after some time, I guess, especially if you're doing this manually. But you could always just 
watch a TV series on a secondary screen, let's say, or do some chores in the house. If you have an auto clicker installed, mm -hmm. I'm very curious what you guys think of this method. It's without doubt the most efficient, the fastest method to level up your fishing as of right now without using any cheats. If you found another super efficient way to level up your fishing, let me know in the comments as well. I'd love to check it out and possibly make a video for it. As you can see, we already improved our fishing to 11 in just this short time frame. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is basically it for today. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit that like button as I spend a lot of time on the research and making this one. While, of course, if you want to stay in the loop with future content, don't hesitate to subscribe as there is a lot more Valheim coming your way. Right now, though, it is 4 a.m. out. I want to wish you an awesome day. And of course, also good luck building this farm. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.